Barbie may have broken the box office. We should stop by. Becoming the highest grossing film by a female director in history. But to the surprise of co-stars and fans, it wasn't enough for the film's star Margot Robbie or its director, Greta Gerwig, to get an Oscar nomination. While the film did receive eight nods, including Best Picture, There is no just Ken. Ryan Gosling, who was nominated for his role as Ken, spoke out about the snubs, writing, There is no Ken without Barbie, and there is no Barbie movie without Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie. To say that I am disappointed that they are not nominated in their respective categories Categories would be an understatement. Co-star America Ferreira, who clinched her first Oscar nomination, telling Entertainment Weekly she is sad and disappointed about the women being overlooked, adding they deserve to be acknowledged for the history they made, for the ground they broke, for the beautiful artistry. On social media, this is like one of the biggest snub Oscar lineups I think I've ever seen. Fans were fuming. How did Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie not get nominated for an Oscars? One posting, Ken getting nominated and not Barbie, is honestly so fitting for a film about a man discovering the power of patriarchy in the real world. Unfortunately, I wasn't too surprised because the Oscars have a pattern of snubbing comedies, and they also have a pattern of snubbing movies directed by women. Congratulations to those men. In 2020, the Academy received criticism after all of the nominees for Best Director were men. That same year, Cynthia Arriva was the only person of color nominated in any of the acting categories. And who could forget the Oscar So White hashtag that went viral in 2015 after no actors of color were nominated. While past efforts have been made to increase diversity among its voting body, the Academy now finding itself back in the spotlight after the women behind Barbie are boxed out of some of the top prizes. NBC News has reached out to Robbie and Gerwig for comment, and we have not yet heard back. Okay, so now we're all, the next mad. question we're is, mad. well, yeah, but also, like, how, do, who decides, and how did this happen? It's yeah. so okay. strange. So now the entire Academy votes on these nominees, right? But how did we get here is the big question. Actors vote for actors. Directors vote on directors. Editors vote for editors. When it comes to the nominees, there are certain categories that don't fall into this, but you're voted on by your peers, peers essentially. But that doesn't explain why she, right. Greta Gerwig wouldn't be nominated by her peers. And what's interesting, well, it, 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 exactly, yeah. right? And so we don't don't know why certain people get nominated and don't, but it's all tabulated behind the scenes. And what's interesting to me is how do you get nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay, right, which she and her partner did, and then you don't get nominated for Best Director, but you're nominated for Best Film? Yeah. So let's just pretend that Barbie does win Best Film, but then you haven't won Best Director. Yeah. I find it to be and quite confusing. It, I, I mean, in the past, nearly always a Best Director and a Best picture nominations go hand in hand. You're right. Like by tradition. You're right. And also, remember, Barbie won big at the Golden Globes. Yeah. But now that the HFPA and that voting body has changed so much, it's not really a precursor anymore for who might get nominated or even win. I just and want also, to, I just want to try and understand. So... Margot Robbie would have been nominated by fellow directors. No, no Margot actors. Robbie would have been no. nominated Ken. by fellow Ken, actors. Ken, come on. Yeah, so you're us. nominated <laughs> by your the peers. Women got wow. This. We but got I also this. just no, want to no. point out one other <laughs> thing, though. Leonardo Curtis, DiCaprio, Curtis, who yes. got a lot of buzz for his starring role yeah, in yeah. Killers of the Flower Moon, he was not nominated. Yeah. The Color Purple musical film, not nominated for Best Picture. There were a lot of yeah. other things that upset people right. outside of Barbie yeah. this year. Yeah. And yeah. Oscars, like I said, is no stranger to controversy mm -hmm. with all of their issues with diversity yeah. over the years. It's just for, it, on you, Craig. <laughs> for fun. Wow, that's, that's, that's part of the past. It's part okay, of just want to think. Because Al, yeah, thank you. Al thank you. that's usually you want, your job. Yeah. I'm just, I'm <laughs> right? just, I'm, I'm, Ken, come to I'm Kenning back here. That's so <laughs> rare. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. It is, I mean, I meant, it's by interesting. By the way, I meant Greta Gerwig. I meant so her peers are yeah. voted on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you know what, though? I just have to say, I really love that Ryan Gosling came out yeah, and he says, yeah. there's no Barbie yeah. without Ken. There is no Barbie film without yeah. Greta Gerwig. Of yeah. course. Of course. And it's funny because it's li like literally the plot of the movie. Exactly. But whatever. Not great. You know, it's Barbie. Barbie. Every year people are upset about something. I know. Like exactly. Yeah. Every year. Sorry for calling you Ken. I just couldn't help it. <laughs> You're not sorry. Just teasing. <laughs> You're not sorry. Like a little She's sorry. Half <laughs> yeah, sorry. All, All right. right. Chloe, thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Thank you, Chloe.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.